So you may be a guy out there who is um, interested in a chosen person. You know, you like this woman, you like this man. But for some reason, you feel like they're pulling away. You know, you feel like um, you're trying to move forward with them, but they are pulling back. Okay, so they may even sometimes withdraw their attention and they may just pull out of that um, relationship or something like that. It is not really something you need to take personal. So a chosen person may not even tell you this. They may just pull out because they will figure out that there is um, probably you are on a different wavelength um, and sometimes there is things probably you're talking about or things you're doing or the way, they, the way you move that doesn't suit their needs. Okay, so it's not something that is very personal. They will respectfully walk away. Okay, they may sometimes tell you the reason why they may refuse that uh, relationship, even if they have really liked you on a, you know, on a very physical level, you may be a very nice, beautiful woman, or you could be a very nice, handsome man, and um, they like you physically. You are attractive and everything, but for some reason, you feel like they cannot go ahead with that relationship. And they may go ahead and tell you that, you know, you know for, for each other's own good, let's just leave this thing the way it is and, you know, just carry on with um, our lives, you know, respectfully. Now, chosen people, they invest a lot of time in self-development. And especially we're talking about the ones that are awakened. So we're talking about the awakened souls in this video. Those people, something will change as they evolve and grow <coughs> to become their greatest versions. Something will change their, on their journey. So they may not be dating the same way they used to date back in the days, you know. Before pre-awakening, you could have been dating. Anybody came around, of course. You know, you gave them a chance or you went into that relationship. You dated with them for a couple of months or whatever years. But post-awakening, there is things that happen, uh, especially with the chosen one. They go through a lot of changes. And because of this awakening, this awakening will place them on the path of self-development. You know, they are going to realize that they need more in life. So they are struggling and striving very hard to become their greatest versions. So they will learn a lot. They will educate themselves. They will take a couple of time to read some books. They will do everything in their power to make sure that they can never be the person that they was yesterday. So this becomes a journey of self-development, very, very serious one. And sometimes is the reason why you find a lot of chosen people, they tend to be such a sexual, you know, the ones who have like gone through this massive awakening and, you know, the shifts, they tend to become serious sexual where they will actually be attracted or drawn to people who are very highly, people of high emotional intelligence, okay? Because remember that a chosen person is a person that is comfortable on their own. They are not really going out there. They're not all over the place looking for relationships. They crave relationships, of course. They crave uh, being intimate with someone. But they also take note of the offers that usually come along their way. Okay? So that makes it very hard because a lot of people, they are very much drawn into surface level relationships. You know what I mean? You know, let's go on these dates, let's have something to eat, let's go to the movies, let's have some sex and stuff like that. But chosen people, they want more than that. Because remember that they're already doing the work, first of all. And they're investing a lot of energy to do this work, okay? So they want to get into a relationship with someone who will happen to challenge them, okay? This person needs to be challenging for them. 
the person needs to be somewhere, somehow growing. They need to be somewhere you know, on some kind of a journey. They need to, they need to be highly emotionally intelligent. They need to, you know, they want to talk about things, very next level things. So chosen people, there are people who like, um, they are very interested in the supernatural things, you know, divine stuff, spiritual stuff. They want to go down the rabbit hole. They want something else to, you know, they need a challenge every single day. Those, those chosen people, they are constantly um, challenging themselves to move to the next level. So when they meet a person who is like really surface level best and it doesn't really matter what you look like you know you may be this most beautiful girl in town you may find that this person will uh, not in any way carry on dating with you because they already know that you you're sort of surface level best okay so you are like talking about ordinary things the same thing that everybody else is talking about but at the same time you're dating somebody who wants to go down the rabbit hole so they are very deep people so sexual 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 people they are they are um, attracted to people who probably is similar probably sexual sexual as well all people who are building towards that you know what i mean towards uh emotional intelligence you will actually realize that when you're with the chosen one even sometime when you're on a date you may spend like 10 percent um of the time on that date talking about certain level surface, surface level things but the rest of the data could say like 80 or 90 percent they're going to be they're going to be going down the rabbit hole and sometimes when they are talking very deep level stuff they may have that feeling that you know you're not catching up on them you know you don't you don't know what they're saying or sometimes you're struggling to understand them it's like they're saying some things they speak they feel like they're speaking an alien language for you and you are not connecting with them very deeply because you see a chosen person when it when a chosen person talks with you or communicates with you a discussion or whatever they will know a person that can go deep and a person who can't you know what i mean <coughs> just depending on your level of wisdom it's not in a way that they undermine people or something like that but they find surface level relationships very boring okay yes of course they will be in a relationship with a person who is also sapiosexual. They may also enjoy intimacy with them, even somewhat sometimes here and there, a few regular surface levels are uh, surface level stuff and everything. But for the most part of those relationships, those chosen people, they're always going to want to go very deep. Okay, so these guys they are very deep divers. And that's what makes it difficult when it comes to dating with these individuals. That's why you see a lot of them most of the times they are like alone. They cannot find a person who can challenge them emotionally you know what i mean so if a person who is looking into dates with these kind of individuals then it might be a person who wants to evolve you you need you need to have some kind of you know there has to be something you can do that is a little bit challenging for yourself and even sometimes for these kind of individuals because they always want they are striving every single day to become better than they was yesterday. They're on this journey of self-development and growth, and I can promise you a sapiosexual person is not a person in any way that is going to abandon their growth just because of a relationship. So they cannot sacrifice their own personal development and growth just because they have met somebody nice and they want to start dating, and then they are, they are now going to go back and talk about surface level things. So this whole thing is not really personal. It could be easier, could have been easier back in the days of course pre-awakening if they were when they wasn't awakened like for most of us most of us who are even sometimes ended up getting involved in uh, toxic relationships with these nurses and everything it could have happened uh, at an early point of your journey but when you wake up and you step into this evolution journey of growth and development spiritual development and growth you are the person who is on a similar path you know you are the person who you will meet and you know that you're going to build an empire okay because it's only emotional intelligence that can build an empire. So you want a person who you know that this person, when we are together, we are going to be doing things, we are going to be growing, we are going to be learning and learning more things, you know what I mean? So these individuals, you know, they are always into their prayers, they are always into their meditations, they are always into, you know, everything they can do to make sure that they evolve and grow because they fully understand what their purpose is. And for a chosen person also, they tend to put their purpose 
ahead of everything. So they cannot even sacrifice their purpose for a relationship unless that relationship is matching their needs, okay? Not in a very selfish way, but they don't want to get into a relationship which is going to put them off their path because the person is very surface level based and their people want to go very deep. So they will not in any way be matching up with your energy and sometimes that is what causes these kind of relationships with chosen people not to work. It is simply because those individuals, they are psychosexual. They are very attracted to emotional intelligence. A chosen person can overlook your your appearance, your physical appearance, your body looks and everything, whatever money you have, material things. When you're psychosexual, emotionally intelligent, a chosen person can actually become very, very attracted to you and they want actually to start a relationship with you because they understand that kind of energy. That is their wavelength. They're on that kind of timeline and that's how they operate. So let me not think about this video. If you're the person that I'm talking about, drop us a comment in the section below. Let us know what you think. You guys know that I do love and appreciate your support. Book a session, donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. Desmond signing out. <clears throat> Much love and blessings. Peace.